What I have here is three minimal surface eggs. The simplest minimal surface you can have is a flat plane. But what about some non-obvious ones? You can get a catenoid to form when you just take two rings and then get their surfaces to touch. So I'm just gonna blow them together. And then the other one is a helicoid. <laughs> Look how cool that is. So it forms this helical bubble around it. What's cool is you can see the strength of this surface tension trying to minimize the energy when you just put a string on a salt film. So the true definition of a minimal surface is where the curvature at any point is zero. What's cool about bubbles is they can actually calculate that for you. And when you get 3D objects, it's a little harder to predict what the minimal surface would be. For example, here's a cube that we dip in a salt film. So it doesn't just want to form a surface on each of the faces of the cube here, but it actually wants to combine together and form a little square in the middle there. 